cross straight to Bridge Bhushan, who's just arrived at the Rose Avenue Court. He is now seeking bail as the Delhi Police files a 1,600 page charge sheet. The matter now in the Rose Avenue Court, where Bridge Bhushan just arrives, and he's now seeking for bail. Anisha Mathur is joining us uh, live. She's right there at the Rose Avenue Court as we speak. This, is, uh, this comes as right at a time when there's almost a 1,600 page charge sheet that's been filed against Bridge Bhushan where there are two photographs that are quite damning all the way uh, from 2019 showing Bridge Bhushan making some physical advances towards one of the complainants in Kazakhstan. This comes as main evidence in the Delhi Police's charge sheet. The charge sheet also mentions details laid out by the wrestlers of repeated sexual harassment by Bridge Bhushan. Now, as many as 15 out of the 108 witnesses have been examined and have corroborated their statements in favor of the wrestlers uh, who have accused Bridge Bhushan of molestation. Anisha Mathur joining us more on that. Anisha, give us more as the Bridge Bhushan has just arrived at the Rouse Avenue Court. What's, intend, uh, what's expected to happen now? Well, Bhushan Sharan Singh has appeared. He, his cavalcade, his, his car and a few cars with his supporters have gone inside the Rouse Avenue court uh, premises. He will shortly be appearing before courtroom number 503, which is the special court for MPs and MLAs at Rouse Avenue court. Remember, he is facing a charge sheet for molestation, stalking and criminal intimidation. He, as well as Vinod Tomer, have been made accused in this particular case. Today, of course, what we are expecting is that since cognizance has been taken of the charge sheet, they will, uh, the accused persons will be given a copy of the charge sheet, they will have to sign uh, for the charge sheet and then the date for the next hearing will be given. What we are also being given to understand is because uh, today is his first appearance because he's never been uh, arrested by the police so far during the investigation, he was also going to be seeking post cognizance bail which is a procedural uh, uh, thing that uh, happens every time some per any person is made accused and there's a charge sheet against them they have to appear before the court and seek bail uh, so that they are not uh, they are not arrested uh, or during the period of trial so that is the process we are expecting to happen today in the rouse avenue court you can see uh, police presence here there's a lot of media presence here but uh, if you see the charges against uh, Brijbhushan Sharan Singh, he is facing allegations of molestation, he is facing allegations of stalking, as well as criminal intimidation. The, rest, the women wrestlers who have raised allegations against him have very clearly said uh, that uh, he had uh, misbehaved with them. There is also very harrowing allegations of the actual incident of the behavior that had occurred, what Brijbhushan uh, had done to uh, these women, including the kind of touch, the kind of... Uh, uh, close uh, contact that uh, these women have raised objections to. What we also need to look at is what the police has said in their charge sheet. The police charge sheet is over, over 1500 pages long. They have uh, uh, examined several witnesses, at least 15 of whom have uh, corroborated the uh, story of the women wrestlers. Remember, this is not the, why this is a case of uh, uh, criminal intimidation, stalking, and molestation because it involves close contact behavior. Clear, direct witness evidence is very rare in cases like these. We do have, we have. Uh, India Today has been analyzing the charge sheet that was filed. We have lo taken a look at it, and some of the coaches and other staff have said that yes. They have seen incidents where a woman wrestler, who, uh, who uh, com one of the complainants, had moved away from Bhushan Sharan Singh during a photo op. We've also seen uh, uh, reports regarding photos which have come out uh, in uh, uh, as part of the charge sheet, which have shown uh, the v visible discomfort. And uh, as far as the women wrestlers are concerned, the wrestlers, of course, in their complaints, had said that because of his behaviour, they had taken the decision to not be alone with him at any point of time, at least two to three uh, women would go together if uh, Bhushan had, uh, uh, was uh, meeting them. You there know, are a uh, lot of issues that have come Anisha, up. Anisha, but uh, as, as many as the trial process 100 and would begin soon. 105 uh, people have testified, given their testimonies. The charge sheet speaks of at least 15 uh, people from within the wrestling community who have corroborated the same statements given by the victims, the wrestlers who have uh, complained against Bridge Bhushan of sexual harassment, uh, at least 15 of them. All right, those are live visuals. They're coming in of Bridge Bhushan, live, even as I speak, the, uh, the
the accused Bridge Bhushan is entering the Rao's Avenue court. These are images, first images right here on India Today that we bring to you uh, of Bridge Bhushan as he walks into court. This is the first time that he's come into court itself. Anisha Mathur, who's been tracking very closely uh, the movements of Bridge Bhushan as we see heavy security deployment uh, all outside and inside the court. He is a BJP MP, he's the WFI chief. Uh, he hasn't yet resigned, uh, resigned from the position. One must know that he still holds uh, the position of the Member of Parliament 1 and also as the Chief of the Wrestling Federation of India. Despite the mounting allegations and the police investigation, uh, there was no resignation in sight. Bridge Bhushan has been defiant. He said very clearly that uh, let the police do their job and he claims innocence. At this point, we believe he is going to be seeking bail uh, even as the police have filed a nearly 1,600 page charge sheet with some damning evidence including photographs that very clearly shows uh, his physical advances to some of the victims. Anisha, De Anisha is right outside the court there. Anisha, we see Bridge Bhushan walking into court uh, with, with heavy security around him. He's going to be asking for bail, is it? Is, is an arrest impending? Well, it is highly unlikely that he would be arrested now because he has not been arrested so far during the investigation. Remember, this is something that is a procedural uh, issue. When there is a criminal case in a situation like this, it is for the police to decide whether or not they want to arrest. So far, the police has not arrested. In fact, in their charge sheet, the police has uh, justified their decision to not arrest uh, Bridvushan Singh so far. Of course, the wrestlers, which are the complainants in the case, have been asking for his, his arrest so far. It is for the court now to consider whether or not they will give him bail. But in most of the cases of this nature, when the police has chosen not to arrest, when all the evidence has been collected, when the charge sheet has been filed, courts normally do grant bail. The courts normally don't ask for arrest. Remember, this is not something uh, that has come up for the first time here. These wrestlers had gone up to the Supreme Court, they had gone to the High Court, they have uh, filed a, uh, a complaint before the uh, uh, trial court here as well, seeking monitoring of the investigation. And they had earlier also questioned why the police has not arrested Bhushan Sharan Singh. The police in their charge sheet, of course, has uh, responded to those questions. They have said that there was... Uh, that because Vibhushan Sharan Singh as well as Vinod Tomar have been cooperating with the investigation, uh, they found no reason to arrest them. But that also because the allegations uh, that have been uh, that have come out in the investigation uh, are of offences which are punishable by less than seven years of imprisonment, and that is also one big reason why the police decided not to arrest them. But if you look at it from the wrestlers' point of view, they have been agitating about this for months. They have been asking for action against Vibhushan Sharan Singh. They've been asking for his removal as WFI chief. They've been asking for his arrest. They've also raised allegations that uh, uh, the WFI, the internal complaints committee, did not uh, properly hear their complaint when it came to Vibhushan Singh's uh, behavior towards them. There are also, as we've been discussing, uh, photographs that show uh, uh, close contact between the uh, wrestlers as well as Vibhushan Sharan Singh, which the wrestlers have said they were very uncomfortable with and they found it to be unnecessary a molestation. They've also uh, raised several complaints regarding his constant repeated behavior. So there are six women wrestlers, all of whom are medal winners, they're international level players who have raised these allegations against Vibhushan Sharan Singh. There are at least 15 witnesses, according to the charge sheet, who have corroborated the allegations raised by these women wrestlers. A total of 108 witnesses in total yeah. uh, cited by the uh, police in their charge sheet and over 1500 pages of the charge sheet itself. The hearing of course is set to begin a, uh, a, any moment now. My colleagues uh, Shreya and uh, Srishti are both inside the courtroom and will be giving you uh, minute by minute updates of what is happening inside there. But the hearing has just begun. The uh, lawyer for resolution has asked for bail in this particular case. Uh, so the, here, as I said, my colleagues Srishti Oja and Shreya are inside and will be giving us minute by minute updates of what is happening inside the courtroom.